Hello and welcome back to another video of Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials. I am Kohitsu GZ, and in this video I would like to go over two new things. So the first thing I would like to go over are the two new hairstyles and the two new faces for both male and female characters. And the second thing I would like to go over are the two new classes. Nothing in specific detail, but more of their weapons of expertise and what souls you can allocate on them. So first, let's go to our appearance change. So going to the prep button, bringing us to our party page. You can tap on one of the characters themselves, and that brings you to the character details uh, strength page. So down at the bottom left, you're going to have the Sugata Henko button, the appearance change button. And for my male, male character, I'm going to zoom in and go to Kamigata. So these are the original eight hairstyles. And over here, you're going to have hairstyle type 9 and type 10. So this is type 9. And this is type 10. Then you're also going to have differences in faces. So these are the original eight faces. Then you have two new ones. So you have this one, which is probably a face of older gentleman. And then you're going to have this one. So this looks like Krillin from Dragon Ball. Now what I want to do is switch over to one of my female characters, go back into appearance change, and then an also same, Kamigata. You have the original eight hairstyles, zoom in, and now you have the two new ones, like this one, and this one. Then you're also going to have the two new faces. So here are the original eight, and here are the two new ones. This one, and this one. So probably I will play around with this a bit later. So what I want to show you now, going back to our party page, you're going to notice that actually if you look at my uh, professions, the classes for these characters, I have two Asobinin, so two Jesters, and two Odoriko, so two Dancers. So if I go into the equipment page, you can take a look at their weapons of expertise. So for Jesters up here, you're, they're going to be uh, proficient with rods, spears, and boomerangs. Now, if I also go over to my dancer, you're going to see that they're proficient with swords, daggers, and whips. Then one last thing to go over for them, right here, is going to be what souls you can allocate for them. So actually, for the dancer, you can allocate one blue soul, one green soul, and then one soul that can be of any color. Then for the Jester, you can also allocate one blue soul, then one purple soul, and then one soul of any color. Then something else new that you're going to notice is down here. This button right here, Subete Hazusu. So this is a button that I actually have been wanting because I want to take off all my gear, but I had to take them off one by one. This button here, Subete Hazusu, means to take off all the equipment, like this. And like that, all my equipment is taken off. Then if I look, and then of course next to it, you're going to have to the Osusume set button, and I can tap that. And I am equipped with everything again. The same is also going to be for souls as well and pearls. So you also have a Subete Hazusu. So press that. Then I can also press the Osusume set. But the Osusume set only gives you 
uh, equips the souls for you. It doesn't equip the pearls. So for the pearls, I actually would have to equip them by my by myself. So that is what I wanted to go over in this video. I know it's a short video, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it a bit informative. Like I said in a later video, I will go over uh, the two classes in detail. Probably once I reach level 40 for them, I will actually have all the information I really need about them to make a detailed video. So uh, please stay tuned. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.